It's funny hearing fans of other AFC West teams and naysayers in the media say Las Vegas Raiders receiver Devontae Adams won't do as well because Derek Carr, not Aaron Rodgers, is throwing them the football now. If you mention what they did together at Fresno State, you get back, that was in college, this is the NFL. Well, haven't they both played at a high level in the NFL? Carr has finished third in NFL MVP voting, been a top 100 football player three times, and is currently a top 10 quarterback. And of course, Adams is the best receiver in the game. So this is the NFL is just fine. Then there are those that say, that was eight years ago. That chemistry has been lost. To that I say, chemistry isn't something you lose. It can get a little rusty, but not lost. Isn't that what OTAs, mini camp, and training camp were for anyway? So how are things going with them now? Well, He's as comfortable as a man could be in a new town and new system. He has his old buddy at quarterback in Carr, his first receiver coach in Edgar Bennett, and he loves what Josh McDaniels has to offer as a play designer and play caller and the pieces around him. Now I know he's not going to say it, but he genuinely seems not to miss Rodgers too. Let's start with what he had to say about his chemistry with Carr in today's presser. I mean, we got right back to work, just like you know. And I don't know if I mentioned to you, to you guys, when I came here, um, you know, right after I signed. But we we were working out together for the first six years of of our you know NFL career anyway, because we lived right down the street from each other. Once I moved up to Danville, so I mean, we were throwing probably three times a week for you know five six years. So um, had about a two year gap when when they you know the team moved out here, but. Uh, basically picked up where we left off and you know we both are so committed and, and obsessive over our craft to where um, you know even today I messed something up at the end of practice you know uh, just a, a subtle thing and we go back out there after to go you know I just want to feel that and do because that's the way we did it before anytime you know if he didn't if he didn't like a ball he threw in a period he had me go stand in the spot that I would that I would have been catching the ball and then he'll fire it until you know he liked how he threw it which is usually you know one more pass but um, when you got two dudes that have worked together and already built up a lot of camaraderie and you know have a close friendship, I feel like that makes it so much easier, kind of getting back and gelling, um, you know, the way you were before. He talked about getting his old receiver coach back. Man, he was one of the first people I saw when I walked in the building after I signed, and it just put a big smile on my face, man. It was kind of, you know, it, it added because I, I don't know as many players, or I didn't know as many players on this team as. You know, maybe some others when I when I first got here. So to see a familiar face, also Coach Mo, he was a special teams guy in uh, in Green Bay. So to see some familiar faces like that, it just kind of gives you a sense of comfort. And uh, you know, a guy who understands what I'm about, he's seen me from literally when I first got in Green Bay. So he's kind of seen the whole progression from young rookie who doesn't know anything to coming in. And you know, I've kind of established a few things now. So um, you know, just to be able to work with him again is, is definitely a blessing. He likes how he'll be used as well as the people around him. Yes, but it's it's not not in the same sense where I'm watching one guy. I'm excited because I just look at all the routes that are being run. And Josh has such a, a way to be able to move me around and move other people around to, you know, to, to be in certain, bless you, to be in certain, you know, positions on the field to, you know, be, at, be in the most advantageous spot. So that's that's what excites me is that I know, you know, and having the company that I have, you know, having Darren and, and really everybody, but Darren and Hunter, those are two guys that you can't, you know, if you want to come double and triple me, which has happened, um, you know, it puts a lot of stress on on the rest of the, the defense because now they got to go cover one-on-one -on -one with, with Hunter in a slot. And that's, that's too much room to give a guy like that to go out there and operate. So I think about it more of a team big picture. Um, and I, I definitely get excited when I see some of the routes, but it's more so just knowing that I can, you know, be anywhere on the field and be have the potential to make a big play. And while Adams knows Carr isn't Rodgers, he knows he can get him the ball too. Derek, Derek, I mean, it's just it's just such a different ball game. I mean, obviously you have Aaron who's cemented as, you know, one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game. And, you know, that's just like comparing me to like Jerry Rice. You know, it'd be tough to do because Jerry's put together what he's done and it's, it's undeniable respect for him. Um, and me, I'm still, I'm still going. And there's still a lot that I got to do to be able to, be mentioned with Jerry, and I and I'm aware of that, and I think Derek is also aware of that, um, you know, from a big picture. But as far as talent and ability, I mean, it's really similar. If you if, if I'm keeping it real, Derek's arm strength and and they throw the ball a lot different. Like Derek is going to fire it in there, and you you're going to know that things coming quick, and 
Aaron's got the ability to just kind of tighten that core up and just flick the ball to you. So the, the release is a lot different, but being able to get the ball to you late, you know, if they see you coming out of a break, not many quarterbacks can get it to you before you get to the sideline, you know, if you're outside the numbers already. But having two guys like that with really strong arms and understand the game and, um, you know, the mental part of it is a, another similarity that they have is – they both obsess over it, and, and they know everything that's going on out there. A lot of times I've seen Aaron call out a blitz when the safety's, you know, 17 yards off the ball, just, just kind of creeping back there. He said in practice, hey, he's coming. And I'm like, what? And then sure enough, dude comes flying on the snap from 17 yards down the field. So I've seen that from Aaron. And then I've seen Derek literally give me a check that didn't make any sense to me before in college here, same thing. And, you know, we, we scored a touchdown on it. So. Um, a lot of similarities, but but much different. And I think Derek is in a position where he's he's chasing to, to be one of those all-time greats like that. Which is, like I said, um, that's not a slight on Derek whatsoever. I wouldn't be here if I was if I was slighting Derek. But um, I don't think that I'm ready to compare myself to Jerry Rice just yet. We'll see when it's all said and done. Um, you know, or after some more time. Just to to be fair um, overall, and and I think the same is with Derek. We you know we both chasing it and still got a lot in front of us. He's just overall happy to be a Raider. Devontae, in professional sports, you see a lot of guys sign the big contract and go places they're not happy. Yeah. Watching you around the facility practices, I mean, you genuinely seem to be loving where you're at. Time of my life. At this time in your life, can you describe that feeling to not only got the respect of the payday, but to be in a place that you're so happy? It's, it's hard to explain. I mean, that's, that's another thing is, like, I'm sure everybody talks about you know, you guys have heard Green Bay offer this, which is higher than what I was, and all of that. And, and yeah, I'll, I'll say it. it. It was true, okay? It was true. But, like I said, there's much more that goes into it, and, and family is a big part of it for me. So, geographically being here, it makes it a lot easier for me to stay connected to my family year-round. And, you know, this, is, this isn't this is year two, or I'm not trying to necessarily fight for a job or anything like that to where, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to just stay out there. You know, I, I had the, the, the choice, and the choice for, was for me to come here and, you know, raise my family on the West Coast and, and come out here and, and have some fun in the sun. And it's, it's starting to get incredibly sunny, but it's uh, <laughs> we got ghosts here too, apparently. But <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's hard to explain. I just this is this is what I, I thought about. You've seen the pictures of me as a kid in, the, in my yearbook saying NFL NBA star. That's what that's what I want to do. Devonte Adams, NFL NBA star. And you know, sometimes you just got to manifest it and uh, and throw your jersey on and see if you can kind of you know they say history repeats itself. So so here we are. Adams is happy to have his old college quarterback his first position coach in the NFL, and his head coach. And of course, he's happy to be a Raider. So I can't wait to see him take off in 2022. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.